Today we are going to learn about how to import 3D points into SpaceClaim and uh, that is especially true when you want to make the aerofoil geometry or domain and that can be 2D or 3D. So I'm not talking about the 2D or 3 domain but I'm talking about the when I talk about the 2D it means that the aerofoil points they are lying on just on the two axes that is the xy plane or yz plane or zx plane and uh, by 3d curve me we mean that the when the curve every point has a three coordinates and so it is varying in the x y and z and for both of them the method is slightly different so i will explain that in in a space claim and right now i am using ansys 2020 range 2 but this is true for the any version and before that i want to show you that how these files will look in in different software so first of all i am going to show you the data format for uh, icm cfd so this is the data format for the icm cfd you just need to put the let's say in this case 41 points are there and there are two there are two curves upper and lower curve of the aerofoil and, and every curve has uh, 41 points so on the upper side on the lower side we have 41 points and if I plot them and uh, you will see that if I insert the graph here so you can see that this is the shape of aerofile we are, we are going to get over here and uh, one thing you will notice that that these points are connected by the straight line. So uh, when we are going to put the, uh, these arrow files, so we don't need, uh, we don't use here the splines. The like splines will try to uh, approximate the points, but the polyline will exactly go through these points. This is a, what, what exactly we are going to discuss in a space claim. Because in a space claim, we get these options otherwise in icm cod or design model we don't get these options they are directly by default they are on set on the polylines and one extra line is is there and the extra line is because of the duplication of points uh, at their two locations so one is one curve is up to here and second curve is up to, up to here so this one extra line is from basically is uh, is because of the uh, this data so if I choose only uh, two points, so let me show you the first one and then the second one. Up to point number 83. Eighty three and uh, eighty three, and delete ex delete this second series from 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 this uh, graph here, and uh, so we have uh, right now this geometry, and this is the format for for uh, ICM CFD, and if I close this, you can see now the format for uh, de design molder. And in design model, we have the two formats. One is the for open type. Open type means that we at the end of the trailing edge, the trailing edge is open. And uh, in second case, when the trailing edge is sharp, that is the it is converging on a single point. So for the close or sharp trailing edge, we have this format. So only difference that in uh, first case we have these points. So this is the first curve. This is the first curve. And for second curve, we want to add here. That is for the case when you have 3D blade, for example, for the turbines. So you can put them as a 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5. And uh, the number of points are here. Uh, but in the case of when we have a short trailing edge, we don't put any number here after the this point. And just instead, we instead of 81, we put 0 here. And we don't put any coordinates. So this will understand this will be understandable by the design model. This is basically is a short trailing edge. And now third format is basically is the format for uh, space claim and this format is very different. First of all, there are the few commands. So 3D is true means that we are going to create the 3D curve. So I'm not going to use that uh, in this case. By default, it's a false. 
So if you don't use it, it means that you are saying that set theory is false. So theory means that we have the three coordinates, which are three are varying x, y, z, all three are varying at the same time. So this is 3D curve. And if, although you can you can cause as a 3D curve, these 2D curves because because they are just on the x, y plane. So by putting the third, third coordinate as a zero, you can you can make them 3D curves for the space claim. And uh, so in this way you can you can do it, but but if you want to go for the 2D curve, so in this case you have to just put the station number and uh, whatever the tolerance uh, or the minor tick mass are, are enabled in the space claim, so the distance will be taken by that value. So this, this is this number is not the distance, but the first one means that this is just on the plane, on the origin, and the second curve, if you put the number as a 2. Second curve will be at the distance of one millimeter. So one millimeter is a basically is a is a tolerance here in the space claim. So if you change it in the in the option the space claim, I will not discuss this thing here. So second curve will be over here, then third curve. Uh, so here they, these both are same, but you can put them differently. For example, in the wind turbines or in the uh, gas turbine engines, the compressor turbines, they have the twisting, and uh, the thickness is is also reducing. So as they are going from the hub to the towards the casing side, the blade thickness is varying, and so is the is curvature, and that can be incorporated in this way. And you can put number of multiple curves here, and just change the number, station number, and so one, two, and up to the height you want to have that blade height. And but in the case of 3D, just you just have to put the three three coordinates x, y, z, and that's all we need here. And in the second column for 2D curve, we, we put the X coordinate and the third one is the, the Y coordinate. But in this case, it's the first is the X coordinate, second is the Y coordinate, third one is the Z coordinate. And uh, it's uh, very strange. I don't understand why the space claim is putting the 3D curve on the ZS plane. But however, we can put the these the 2D curves on the XY plane. So this is the one thing I cannot understand, but this is the fact. So in the 3D, in the 3D curve, the space scaling will put the these curve on the ZS plane. So let me now show you. So this is a space claim here, and uh, uh, we have made two files. The one file is uh, for 2D, and uh, here we have put the polygon is a two. Polygon polygon means that the uh, this will be done from the multiple lines or the each point will be connected by a straight line and if you don't put it or if you make it false it means that we are saying that the uh, curve should f follow through these points so this not exactly will go through them but it will closely follow them so it may not or may not may be uh, same curve here and moreover the the straight short trailing edge will not be reproduced if you make it false because splines cannot fit on the on the very sharp corner so it will try to make it round and uh, uh, basically my reference for uh, this this thing is from the space claim help and you can see that uh, spline is uh, created by default if optional polygon is equal to false and then 2d curve is false or true by default it's a false but if you put it 3d as a true so this will make the 3d curve so it can vary these coordinates can vary in the x y z coordinates now let me show you uh, these two files one is the uh, naka 0012 space claim 2d and 3d so in 3d file you can put it 3d is equal to true because this is what we need here and in both cases, I put the polyline is equal to true. And also I can put the line here in the on the top that, that 3D is equal to false, but by default it is false. And in the 2D case, I have the first column is the my station number. And zero means that this will go into minus one direction. So it will be on the below the uh, that origin plane. And here I just put the X, Y, Z coordinates. Now let me show you on the space claim that how it will work so to work it to work on this model we have to from here choose the the sketching plane then click on locate so now we have the xy plane and then from assembly we have the option to import file 
and here you can choose a file so the file type is all files also you have the option to only choose the point curve text file and so you can directly have these file accessible here and first i will try with the 2d and you can see it is uh, is going to appear on the x5 plane very nicely and uh, so there are two curves basically in this file if you if you take a look on this uh, file here the first one is on the plane number 1 which is a uh, is a zero plane or the on the origin plane and second plane will be at the two, 1 millimeter distance from the first plane so second also is the is the same but uh, for second curve to uh, instruct the space claim you have to leave one line between these two curves so if we leave these two lines so it means that uh, you have, we have the two curves so space claim will will will, will make the two curves inside the file and uh, for 3d if i import this file so i can delete this file from here and again on the file menu from the file in the inside us this is the inside assembly menu and now choose a 3d file and uh, you can see this this file is now on is coming on the on the zx plane or xz plane so we don't call this xz plane but zx plane so it is basically making it uh, zx as a x-axis and x-axis as a y-axis so this is all about that how you can import uh, coordinate points in a space claim especially uh, these are useful for arrow files but this can be true for any type of the curves you want to import into a space claim and this is the format for this file